Happy Wednesday. It is November 28th, 2018, 2.52 p.m. Watch me draw some cows today. I'm going to tell you the backstory of this cartoon. Okay, I'm doing this cartoon on the Mississippi race, you know, where uh, City Hot Smith won, which was not really a surprise to anyone who knows Mississippi. Corel, stop giving me these pop ups. I'm not buying any more of your shit. Um, so, and. There was this interesting article about uh, these black Republicans. And uh, I don't really have a problem, you know, with whatever party you're a member of. I don't think you're you're assigned a party by your race and stuff. But it does seem a little bit stupid that you would vote with someone who, who is express, explicitly against your best interest. I mean, I can't figure out why white women will vote for Donald Trump. I, I, I can see why sometimes they vote for Republicans and stuff like that, but really Donald Trump, um, and now Republicans after Trump, because he's just ruined the entire party. But Charles Evers is a black Republican, and yeah, that's fine, but he's a big Trump supporter, and he was, and he's a friend of Mike Espy's, but he said he's not voting for Espy because Espy would go and wouldn't help Donald Trump. Here's the thing. Why would you want him to help Donald Trump? Why do you want a candidate to help Donald Trump? Have you heard Donald Trump? There was... Anyone who says Donald Trump is not a racist is just totally, willfully ignorant. Um, the man is a racist, okay? He, he's a long-time old-school racist. Um, but Charles Evers, his brother was killed by Byron D. Beckwith in his driveway in 1963, and it took Mississippi three tries to finally convict the guy. The first two were hung juries with all-white juries. Mississippi did not treat him, uh, the, the murder, they didn't take it seriously. For uh, for over 20 years, nearly 30. It was like 1994 when they finally convicted him. So, um, it's 30 years, right? And um, I'm a cartoonist. I don't do math. And then, of course, there are several others. So yesterday, a friend of mine made this comment about you know how you know black Republicans was like vegans or McDonald's. And he threw out a few other analogies. And I threw out the analogies of the Chick Fil A cows holding signs that said cow eat, eat more cows and right then I thought oh that's a, that might be a cartoon and, and my buddy wrote while I was thinking this dude you need to draw that if you haven't yet and I thought I will hopefully another cartoonist doesn't steal it from me and then one of my friends who, who draws he said he says oh I think I'm gonna draw that and so I thought oh, damn it now I gotta do this so there's your backstory okay where did I leave off with the raccoon story uh raccoon I like drawing these cows by the way um, the raccoon was trapped. He was in a cage, and they didn't know what he was going to do, but it really, really, really put me in a dark mood. Like, it just took me out of my zone, just just messed me up, because I didn't like the idea of them just killing this creature stuck in a cage. I found out that capturing him was illegal. You're supposed to have a permit for that, and you can't kill him. That's illegal, too. And I tell my roommates this, my housemates, and they're like, meh, 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 meh. So, um, anyway, raccoon figured out how to get out of his own cage. He, he, he busted out. Anyone start back to the attic. Uh, follow up to the story. There might be. I think uh, someone is plugging up the hole today, but I don't know if the raccoon's in the attic while this hole is being plugged up. I don't know. So you might have to come back tomorrow. But the second part, oh, I don't know if I'm trying to get to the shout outs, people. And I only got a couple minutes left. Da, 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 watch me color. I might have to just say y'all's names. Say your name, baby. Uh, da, 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 da. I didn't have the page open yet, so that didn't help. And then, 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 People coming here illegally are not coming here to vote. They can't vote, okay? They just throw that thing out. They can't, they can't, they can't, they can't, they can't, can't. I keep saying this nonsense. They can't do that. They can't, they can't, okay? And not, go not going to. You guys gotta stop being afraid of things that don't exist and look at the things that really do exist. You know, like 
like voter suppression. It amazes me that people complain about illegal votes and voter fraud that doesn't really, really exist. There's no systematic existence of it, you know? There's no existence of systematic voter fraud. That's it. But you guys keep talking about it. But you guys ignore voter suppression. You guys avoid, ignore climate change. But you talk about war on Christmas. All right. Um, and Arrow said, my last response to you was civil. Hope everyone wants to. Uh, uh, Arrow said some things that seem kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, I'll go back and I'll comment on these by typing. There's your cartoon. Um, but, 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 uh, but, yeah, we're done. See, I can't even think straight. I like this cartoon. I wasn't liking the way it was going at first, the drawing, but then uh, I get into it. One of my buddies, another cartoonist, he, he wanted to be my, my email list because he's just really supportive. And he wrote me like, oh man, you're going to get in so much trouble. And that scared me because he gets in trouble all the time. So I was like, oh shit. <laughs> this guy thinks I'm getting in trouble. You know, yeah, I'm getting in trouble. Um, but we'll see. I am tired of losing clients. So come back tomorrow. Push the red button.